Today, I would like to talk to you about a subject totally dear to my heart. And uh, this revelation is born out of a frustration that God himself is encountering right now. As you know, we are in a time of judgment. And this is a time when God is laying blame. And God is mad. And he said to me, I want you to talk to my people concerning the religions of the world. And he said, there is a religion that has caused great harm to the whole world. A religion that embraces slavery, exploitation, murders, mass killing, and the question that I have for you, can you guess what religion it is? Yes, my brother, can you guess? What religion it is? In my background, as you can see, I'm presenting to the world the country of Haiti. And I'm saying that it was a Catholic priest that decided to introduce slavery. He was a slave owner and his name was Las Casas, Bartolome de Las Casas. That was his name. And upon seeing the deaths of the people that were living in the land. So he decided and practically did a treaty and presented it to the country of Spain. And we see the introduction of slavery and you see the introduction of the importation to the island black people from Africa and they ended up causing them to be bound in slavery for many years hundreds of years if you know the history of the, the country of Haiti, they have their independence in 1804. But in 1482, this is when Christopher Columbus practically ended up in this island. So, this guy, Las Casas, he was a Catholic priest. I have no respect for him. He said, upon seeing, they tried to practically paint his story as something good that he has done on behalf of the Indians. Upon seeing 
the genocide being committed. He was a landowner. He was a slave master himself and a priest at the same time. And he decided and said, the blacks living in Africa, they were stronger. Let's bring them there to the island. And, and what we see, Spain agree with him and start bringing black people all over Africa into the country of Haiti. And this is why you see, I put that and they, they ended up putting them in Jamaica, in the in many Caribbean islands as slave Cuba, Puerto Rico, as slave. My brothers, my sisters, this is why God said, if there is a religion that has caused great harm to the world, in the Catholic, uh, the, the capitalist system that we are now living in is tied up to slavery. How many times you realize that you've been exploited as, as a job, in a job? You're working and you cannot pay your bill. You're working and you cannot have a good meal. You know what they're doing to you? They put you in slavery. They cause you to work and not being paid. They cause you to work and not having enough. And you come day after day and you don't see a future. And you see the children seeing their parents doing this and they ended up doing it also. The story of Haiti is a story of example to the world. Although they were frustrated and decided to gain, to take their independence from the French, but the mentality, the abuse that they suffer still exists. And we see that mentality continue all over the world. And especially if you are, you know, you got a dark skin complexion or you are a minority, they have the tendency to exploit you, to abuse you, to give you less than what you deserve. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5, the Lord said, they have a form of godliness. The Lord said, they are pretending to serving me, but they deny the power of God. And this is what's going on in the Catholic Church, in the Catholic religion. And we see they're all over the Caribbean. Their influence exists. All over Latin America, where we see them giving the blessing to the masters. And they even rearrange the word of God saying to the slave, Obey your master 
as unto the Lord. It's like saying black people, obey the white men as you are obeying God. What an abomination. This is why if I do not ask you to leave the Catholic Church, but that will be a great movement for the people in the Catholic Church to say, when are you going to apologize? To the people of Africa that you imported, you bring there, take them out from their land into the Western Hemisphere to become slave. This is under their blessing. What you see Moses did, the prophet of God, he stood up against slavery and he was able to take the people of Israel out of slavery. I said to God, I do not want to be a militant standing up against government. And then he started telling me, what are you saying? The gospel is the gospel of freedom. The truth shall set you free. What did you see Moses has done? Fight against injustice. All the prophets, they were men, Isaiah, Jeremiah, cursing governments, cursing Pharaoh, pronouncing judgment on Egypt, pronouncing judgment on Babylon, pronouncing the heart of God. And I am amazed that I'm taking that stand right now. When God told me on November 5th, start talking to the Haitian people. Start talking to the world. And I know I have prophecies against many governments on what will befall them in 2023. I do not expound on what God is going to do to Russia. But I will when God tell me to expound. I do not expound on what God is going to do to China. But I will when he give me the time to develop that subject concerning China. I prophesy against South Saudi Arabia. But I will develop that subject when God wants me to, to speak about that during the year 2022. My brothers, my sisters, the men of God, they were not about their own pocket. They stood up against government and say what the Lord is saying against them. Pronounce one judgment from the throne of God. And I'm ready to do so. Yes, you can see that the Catholic Church, a government, decide who should be a bishop, an archbishop, <laughs> in the country that show you this has nothing to do with God. Not even their hierarchy was in charge of, of who will lead the country for that particular church to show you it was all into the money, all into the connection, all into to the looting of the 
wealth of the country to transport them to Europe and now we would say to Vatican to the Vatican and have them become the richest religion in the whole world. The Lord said, believe in me, do not believe in religion. And the Catholic Church has done great harm. Let us pray, not only for Haiti, but for every country that this particular church, this particular religion has blessed the government to exploit the people. Let us pray and, and reflect so we may have true change to our the earth. And let us all believe in God, not in man's religion instead. I leave you with this message in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.